right, we got a great video for you today on, that's right, how to have fun outdoors. And this one is all about the Zan Dam. That's right, Holland America from Montreal to Boston. We're going up the St. Lawrence Seaway around Nova Scotia, all that good stuff, Bar Harbor, right back down to Boston. You're gonna love this video. Definitely subscribe, it would mean so much to us. And definitely give this uh, video a big old like that helps this video get out there. And don't forget about our brand new channel, How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right, dedicated videos for cruising and island adventures. That's all you're gonna see on that channel by request of so many of you to do more and more cruise videos. So we're doing that for you. So thank you so much for watching. How to Have Fun Outdoors! We've got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. That's right, the 2022 Holland America Zan Dam. Boy, oh boy, did we have a great time. If you're not familiar with this channel, you need to be. Definitely subscribe. Give this uh, video a like so we can get it out to everyone that's interested in the Zan Dam. And you definitely want to check out how to have fun outdoors. We've got all kinds of great videos, and uh, we do everything from RVing to cruising to state parks national parks it's all on how to have fun outdoors and take a look at some of the videos we've done 25 tips with the mardi gras full walkthroughs that's right we compare ships we do all kinds of great videos that uh, quite honestly have done extremely well including shore excursion and island venture and island adventures how well guess what we got so many fan requests to start how to have fun cruising is the first one bermuda triangle 27 foot wave you're going to want to check that out we tell you the top places to eat all kinds of different uh, shore excursion tips you name it on how to have fun cruising so definitely go check out our sister youtube channel you're going to love that today is all about that's right the zandam we're going to start front to back we do this quicker than all the other reviews out there and if you're going on this cruise ship you're going to want to watch this video because we're going to highlight the ship overall to you and give you the pros and the cons and go floor by floor, front to back, back to front, and you're gonna love it. So no question about it, the Zan Dam is really a special ship. It's been around a long time, and uh, quite honestly, we took it from Montreal all the way down to Boston, but it's also known for its Canadian cruises and also down in the Caribbean. A little bit about the ship now, it is a pretty awesome vessel. That's right, uh, it's owned and operated by Holland America, as you know, and it's named after the city of Zandam, Netherlands, near Amsterdam. She was built uh, by an Italian manufacturer back in 2000. And Zandam is part of the Rotting, uh, Rotterdam class of sister ships. Uh, so you've got the Rotterdam, Amsterdam, etc. cetera. Uh, the ship was designed, uh, denied access to Panama Canal and then to Fort Lauderdale after the outbreak of COVID-19 in the early uh, 2020 uh, pandemic. Four passengers and crew died of COVID during that voyage. So it has quite a bit of history. Overall, uh, we're talking about 61,396 gross tons, so it's not a super large cruise ship. The length on that is 237 meters or 778 feet. Uh, the beam is 105 uh, feet or 32 meters. And uh, overall, there's 10 decks to it, and uh, she's powered by two diesel electric uh, engines, and she can get up to 23 knots or 40, 43 kilometers per hour or 26 miles per hour. So overall, let's get started with this walkthrough, and we're going to start from the top of the ship and walk you all the way down to the bottom of the ship, and here you go with How to Have Fun Outdoors, the Zan Dam. Okay, let's get started on the ninth floor. That's right, the sports suite and staterooms. As you can see, it starts with the crow's nest all the way back 
to the sports areas. But how about the crow's nest? We had a lot of fun up there, and we had our favorite waiter. Hey, 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 welcome to Sandam. I'm your bar vendor here for the entire cruise. And my name is Renel. Yeah. You have a good time in Sandam, guys. Sandam. So as you can see, we had a lot of fun, a lot of dancing, and it's not Royal Caribbean or Carnival. We don't want to give you that impression. But it is a great group of people, and we got up there and had fun. The drinks are phenomenal. They've got all kinds of great drinks, and uh, you uh, are going to love the bar up there for sure. But let's move uh, out of the bar, out of the crow's nest, and take a look at this. This is actually a 10th floor overview down to that ninth floor walk to the back to the sports area at the back of the boat and uh, this is beautiful up there especially on this Canadian cruise you get to see everything so here you go back you can see you've got a nice basketball court and uh, for sure that was awesome and how about soccer <laughs> and you can see we were having a lot of fun there also there great shot had a great time on this pickleball court and wow is that a fun game if you're not familiar with it it's basically an indoor outdoor racket paddle sport and uh, believe it or not the net is a lot lower and it was invented back in Washington the state of Washington USA in 65 in 2022 it was adopted as the official state sport of Washington all right let's keep going down that's right we're heading down to the ninth floor and there's so much cool stuff and we're gonna start at the back and as you can see here you've got the pool area lots of fun and uh, this was the uh, disembarkation from Montreal and we had a great time out there dancing drinks uh, you name it it was beautiful gorgeous day and as you can see plenty of places to uh, view off the boat. This is one of the things we really liked about the top of the ship, if you will, with the Zandam. Uh, this uh, is not crowded, plenty of duck deck area to uh, you know park yourself. There's plenty of seats, chairs, uh, the pool is fantastic, and uh, the people were just super friendly. What we found with the Zandam is just a great group of people. Uh, overall, we really enjoyed um, the crowd a little bit older than what you're going to see on Carnival and uh, Royal Caribbean, but a really great group of people. Uh, and then from there, how about that's right, the Lido deck? Tons of food, you're going to love eating here. Uh, and the quality of the food is very good, I exactly what you would expect from Holland America. And the Zandam delivered for sure, great chow, um, good variety. They changed it up every single day which was a surprise for me. There was always something new on the menu and uh, everything was fantastic. The breakfasts were great. As you can see here, you got the chicken sausage, pork sausage, turkey bacon, regular bacon, uh, anything that you could think of. They had the fruit, uh, you name it. So much of what we're all used to on cruise ships and what we love about cruise ships uh, is all the great chow uh, when you get on there. But you can see here, uh, it was a great breakfast and let's see what Tommy T says right, about the we are on the Zandam for breakfast and as you guys know the food has been great so far so we got a little French toast have to see how well they make that up here in Montreal very good how about the omelet big fluffy made-to-order omelet we enjoyed was the desserts were fantastic on the cruise ship and all the windows and on this Canadian cruise you could just look out the window and check out the ships and uh, it was fantastic so the Zandam has a couple of upscale restaurants where you can pay more and eat uh, some fancy food and we'll start with the first one Italian huh Liche what yeah. do you think welcome to Canaletto all right very good the Canaletto is in the center of the ship uh, and we're going to keep going forward out to the Lido pool and Lido bar and this is a great area. But one final look at the Italian restaurant you see here, really nice, lots of windows, um, a little bit weird because it's next to the Lido market, but overall uh, some good Italian chow. So we're going to walk out to the pool now and as you can see this is a great area, no question about it. Uh, we loved it out here. Really nice pool. 
um, and uh, plenty of places to uh, get drinks and also uh, hang out. No issue whatsoever with getting a, a lounger, a chair, uh, eating out there. It was all great. You can bring your child out from the Lido Market uh, like we did there with all the seafood and sushi. Uh, but you can see beautiful pool. The top opens and closes depending if it's raining and they can shut her down. Nice jacuzzis, never crowded. Uh, the Lido bar was fantastic. Lots of great drinks. Uh, so you could take your pick. And uh, in addition to that, they also had this little dive in uh, place where you could get, uh, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, those kind of things. But everybody was having some fun out there. Beautiful sculpture, beautiful design on this ship. No question about it. The Zandam is a classy ship uh, overall. So smaller ship, not a giant ship. Uh, but, uh, you know, we enjoyed it. We like some of these smaller ships, and you get to know everyone. And like I said, the dive-in uh, right here is right next to the pool, so all your chows there, and here's a glimpse of what's on the menu for everyone back home uh, looking to go on this ship. Uh, you'll be happy with that. Bathrooms right next to the pool, super cool, and all kinds of, you know, cool things like ping pong and other uh, activities uh, out there. These guys are having a great time, really enjoying it, and uh, overall, we had a lot of fun. Okay, how about the spa? Here we go, the Greenhouse Spa and Saloon. That's right, folks, what a spa. This thing was similar to the size that you would find on a huge ship. They had everything, and we really enjoyed it there. Of course, you can get your hair done, your nails done, your feet done, pedicures, you know, you name it. They've got it, and uh, really nice selection of stuff here. Great products on the Zandam, and everybody that worked in the spa was fantastic. Uh, we really, really love the people, and you're going to get to meet a couple right now. What are you now. doing, Alice? What? I'm gonna get us a raffle. We are gonna win the five hundred dollar or three twins. Ah, very good. This lady's gonna pick us up. Yeah. <laughs> We loved all the Zandam uh, people that worked on the ship. I, they do a great job of training their employees uh, because we had an excellent experience. Everybody was very customer service orientated, uh, friendly, nice, and uh, we really enjoyed the staff. A really great group of people. And uh, here you can see we got a full tour of the spa. Very, very cool. Nice. And then wow. here we have our females locker area. The changing rooms, bathrooms, the lockers were just fantastic. This ship was designed around the spa. Um, again, we were very impressed and as you can see here, beautiful saunas and jacuzzis and uh, uh, the thermal suite was fantastic. We'll show you that in a minute. But overall, uh, they had uh, all the rooms had big windows so you could see out, uh, and we really enjoyed it. We had a great time uh, taking advantage of this spa, and Aliche, uh, like I said, loved the people. Country. All right, right here. <laughs> hey, give me a thumbs up. No. Hey. For all the Aliche fans, I tried the thumbs up technique, but it just didn't work. Uh, but in any case, we had a great time in the spa. Lots of fun, cool treatments, uh, some new treatments actually compared to what we saw in some of the other cruise ships. And how about this thermal spa? You have a VIP lounge. Wow, area. I this like the this. You more than welcome to have a seat and lay down if you'd like to. Look at this. Yeah, these are our music lounges. Our favorite part of the ship, and uh, we got the full week pass here, which I think is probably the best deal you can get. You even have your own private balcony. Aliche had a lot of fun in the jacuzzi, and what's really cool about this is the hours. This thing goes till 10 o'clock at night, so you get your own little private suite. Every night we were in there, nobody was in there. It was fantastic, and we really enjoyed it. 
showers in the clean room were fantastic. How about the steam room? Really, really awesome. Everybody was excited about this, but let's take a look at the rest of this area. And wow, look at all the dead weights uh, and this exercise area. Like I said, and I'm sure I've repeated it too many times, this was the size that you would see, if not bigger, on some of these big ships. And uh, this ship's half the size of some of the ships we've been on recently. So they did a great job. If you love spa, if you love working out, if you love all the treatments, this is the ship for you. Uh, it is designed to take care of that element of your crew. So we had a great time there. And as you can see, lots and lots of equipment and uh, windows. You could see out from all sides. Really, really nice. So let's uh, head on over here to uh, the next area. And we're going to show you that now. Okay, we're heading down to the seventh floor. That's right, folks. And as you can see here, it is all suites and rooms. That's right, except for, that's right, the Neptune Lounge right in the middle. And that's the secret hideout for everyone that has a suite. So if you don't have a suite, you're not allowed in there. But uh, as you can see, we got in there to show you what the fancy dancy people have with the suite and they've got chow on demand beautiful area to sit back and relax and uh, this is like a VIP lounge at the airport really really nice design once again uh, and we were impressed with this plenty of places to hang out read your book watch TV uh, do whatever you like so definitely the secret spot of this floor and we're gonna continue on downstairs from here to the next floor. All right, Alice, sixth floor, and it's all of these nice balcony cabins. Absolutely, and I heard about uh, the How to Have Fun Outdoors crew is staying around here at the 616 Gerald. What? Yeah. Hey. Hey. All right, Alice, here we are. What room number? 6160. That's right. We're in what's called a Vista Suite, but this is an older ship, so there's not many balconies, but it truly is mainly just a balcony suite or balcony cabin, actually, uh, that you would see on a typical cruise ship. But back in the old days, they didn't have a lot of balconies. <laughs> so uh, let's go take a look at it and uh, show them the room, Alice. Yeah, come on in. Welcome in our Vista Suite. All right. As soon as you come in, you can see the door for the bathroom. The bathroom is actually very spacious, very bright. And one of the amazing things that you can find here is a What? Yeah, no tub. shower. You got a tub with yeah. a little jacuzzi. Look at that. Very oh, cool. That is very nice, right? Look at here. Lots and of room. Okay, jump in there. Do your little shower. How much room do we got, Alice? Plenty. I can move around. All right. Very good. <laughs> yep. The bathroom is a lot of space, as you can see. Yep. Here and uh, no problem great, there. Great lights at the mirror, but I, for girls, we love these things. Okay. And a lot of space for storage of our makeup. Yep. Very good. All right. So bathroom side, we have here all our. Different uh, closet, you can uh, give it a look. Yep, pretty standard, yeah. what you would typically see in a cruise ship. Yeah. So all the different uh, storage here. Yeah, you have ease and hers and okay. a lot of different uh, options. Uh, over here, we have a nice curtain to divide. Oh, the bed look at that. So, from the entrance. Look at that, yeah. very nice. The bedroom is really nice, spacious. I love it behind the bed, there are all the mirrors. Uh, the mattress I didn't test it yet. Seems pretty good to me. Yeah, good <laughs> mattress. All right. Yeah. And uh, instead of uh, the um, um, television right in front of the bed, this time we have a nice painting and the television instead is located over here. Here's all of your paperwork as uh, you get ready boarding here on the yeah. ship. Right there. TV. TV, nice uh, sofa and uh, a great view. I love that you have literally all windows. Yeah, very that's nice. separated outside. So you have a, a lot of light coming in. What I love about uh, this uh, desk is very spacious, a lot of different drawers, and that is uh, a big plus, as you can see. But the other great thing is, look, they gave us 
different uh, glasses for every occasion. Nice towel if we want to sit outside. Yeah, those are blankets for sitting outside. Exactly. Yeah, because we're up in Canada, and yeah. with and all the wildlife, look what else they throw in for this Montreal to Boston cruise. Yeah, you need to see the wildlife, and we have a nice... Go ahead, scenario. try them out. Take a look at, show everybody back home with your cat. Look at there. Whoa! Whoa. I see a Tommy T. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, All right, let's keep rolling. Yeah, and right there we have uh, um, this nice area with uh, the refrigerator what? on the side. What? A refrigerator. Look yeah. at that. All kinds of stuff in there. Even a boiled egg. How about that? Yeah, very nice. Pretty cool. Nice and desk area, like you said. So you can set up shop there with the TV. And for an older Ryan. ship, look at here. Great balcony. Balcony. Not too many on this ship. And it is a smaller cruise ship. Uh, that they ideally like to use in Alaska and up here in Canada, yeah. especially when you're going through that St. Lawrence Seaway. Yeah, um, and you have a two-nice seat, one with a nice uh, air for you. Wow. And then one with a nice little table for your drink. Yeah, very nice. And look at the view, folks. Take a look. We're in Montreal getting ready to, to depart on a beautiful, gorgeous day here. And this is going to be exciting. Montreal all the way up, all the way down, I should say, to Boston, through Nova Scotia and the rest of it. It's going to be a great time. So that's for the room. Let's go check out the rest of the ship. Come on, let's go. Okay, we have some breakfast for Alice. All right, there's nothing like room service. That's right, here on the Zandam. You can get your little coffee in the morning. Look at that, folks. Well, we had a great breakfast. So when you're on Holland America for free, all you gotta do is fill out your little card before 2 a.m., put it on the door, and in the morning, whatever time you set up, they will bring you your breakfast free. That's right, here's some coffee for you back home. Okay, so let's head on down, that's right, to floor number five. Take us away, Aliche. We're going to walk down here. And as you can see, lots of stuff going on in this area. So we come down here, you've got the main stage, shops, the ocean bar, the atrium, then the casino, more shops. That's right, all the way down the Explorer's Lounge and Explorer's uh, Exploration Cafe, and then the dining room off the back. Okay, but let's get started from the front of the ship, and that's right, uh, this is where the main auditorium stage theater is, and it is awesome. We were very impressed with that. Obviously, two levels on this floor and the floor below us, uh, and we're going to show you that in a minute. It was really, really nice. I just love the older ship designs when it comes to these theaters. Way more comfy, and uh, you can lay out, have your drink. Felt like you were in your living room more than some of these modern ships where they try to put you into more theater style seating, uh, if you will. So uh, we're gonna keep going uh, forward or to the back of the ship now. And as you can see, uh, we're walking down the hall. Here's the main atrium area with the big organ, which is just incredibly beautiful. Uh, I don't think there's any other ship like this at sea that has this kind of setup. Um, over to the left here, you're going to see that you have the atrium. That's right. And this is a popular hangout area, if you will. And uh, no question about it, uh, kind of the central part of the ship, Ocean Bar. That's where everybody goes in the evenings. They have live music, great drinks. And uh, this seemed to be the most popular area of the ship um, no question about it. And quite honestly, uh, full of windows once again, a uh, big dance floor, and uh, believe it or not, uh, the live band stage area here. And you can see that uh, in the evenings, things got going. Everybody dressed up on the Zandam, 
and uh, it was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed uh, this area of the ship and there was always some kind of in entertainment going on if you will all right so let's keep going uh, as you can see right around the atrium bar you had all of the shops but you also have that's right the casino and again the casino was a very good size uh, all the uh, games that you could imagine are there the roulette wheels the slot machines uh, poker you name it it's all there and uh, a really nice uh, casino overall especially for this size ship we were pretty impressed as you come around you see you got more shops all the way around and uh, more little spots to stop off and sit down and drink and uh, you know no question about it if you want to shop they've got everything for you there just like any other uh, cruise ship if you will tons of jewelry uh, for sure you're if you love jewelry you're gonna be happy and nice selection of jewelry uh, we thought there was uh, some good quality product on this particular cruise line and uh, we were impressed with that okay we're gonna keep heading back to the back of the ship and uh, towards the dining room but it, one last look here uh, from the mix area and uh, how about this that's right if you've got a deep wallet you can check out this uh, luxury collection of jewelry and boy oh boy do they've got some nice stuff in there next up the Explorers Lounge and this was also a super popular area a lot of trivia held here activities held here and um, you know no question about it this floor uh, was buzzing with activity during the cruise and a lot of people hanging out in this particular area you could also book future cruises at this desk site and how about this one that's right the Explo uh, explorations cafe and you can get your latte uh, espresso all your fancy teas and uh, this New York Times setup that they had here with all of your board games, uh, books, uh, was really nice. It was like a giant a library, and uh, they did a great job with this. The Hudson Room was another area where you saw a lot of people working with puzzles and playing cards and things of this nature. Very, very popular uh, during the cruise ship and then as you went down the Hudson room and all over the ship they've got some really cool things like these David Bowie and Iggy Pop guitars and cool cruise ship models and uh, overall we loved this area and uh, definitely stopped all the time uh, for those lattes and espressos and everything else and if you have that drink card it actually works uh, for those uh, typical drinks not just wine beer you can also go there all right how about the dining room what a gorgeous dining room on this ship once again we were just impressed for this size ship to have so many of these areas seem larger than what you would feel on a large ship all windows all the way around the back two floors beautiful decor and definitely asked to sit back by the windows and most of the time they can accommodate that and take a look i mean just fantastic views so here is our card on all in america and um here over on top on this corner there is hia that is a code that indicates that we have access actually to a drink package that comes with our room so this is what we want to have the best glass of wine all right and you get 15 drinks per person and that's how it maxes out we got ours with the upgrade yeah and uh pretty awesome we love the main dining room the food was fantastic uh, we uh, felt that the service was incredible we really enjoyed it overall nice. Looking good. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Ah. <laughs> and if you get there at the right time the sun goes down and you get some beautiful sunsets uh, but as you can see here just a fantastic dining room. We were very, very impressed, like I said. Uh, I think you'll be very pleased with this. And uh, they did a great job, again, with the service side of it. We were blown away. Okay, let's head on down to floor number four. That's right, we're going to start from the back of the ship, the dining room, where we were at. Kind of tricky here, so if you, uh, that's why you watch these videos. You have to go back up one floor to come back down to the Pinnacle Grill and the other areas of the ship. 
So believe it or not, here we go. And uh, like I had mentioned, you're on floor four, you gotta come back down and you're gonna show up right here at the Pinnacle Grill. And uh, you've got the theater, the atrium, and then the lower uh, level of the main stage. So again, lots of guitars and cool stuff to check out all over the ship. And then how about this restaurant? That's right, this is their main upscale restaurant and it's called the Pinnacle Grill. We really enjoyed it and it's a great steakhouse with lots of great food and uh, I think you'll be very impressed with this. After a few days on the cruise ship, we decided to check out this steakhouse. You want to make your reservations in advance. And Alice, as you know, is from Italy. She brought one of her fancy Italian outfits. And uh, with her designer outfit and some fancy steaks, we had an amazing time. So here you choose your bottle. Wow. And down here, they give you the name, the location, the um, origin, and then the glass price and the bottle price. Very nice. So you can choose whatever. Big da -da, oh yeah, the best. Well, as you can see, the food was fantastic. Uh, we had some great wine, steak tartare. That's one of Aliche's favorites. And some real nice uh, filet and also ribeye uh, for dinner. And we had a just a wonderful uh, meal and then did a nice walk around the top of the ship afterwards and we had a blast. So let's keep going with this tour and this area right here is right next to the restaurant. Um, they do comedy acts, uh, different uh, activities in this area. This is the photograph area where you can get photography done and obviously all of your pictures are posted during the cruise. Here's the main atrium at a different level uh, one floor down from the top and you can see the big fancy organ which is super cool and then most importantly that's right this is where all your guest services are located kind of a central meeting point for everyone on the ship and um, you know whether or not you're setting up your shore excursions or activities or setting up your phone with the app it's all done right here on this floor now this is the bottom floor of the theater and as you can see See here these are these big comfy couches that we talked about earlier and uh, lots of great shows in there including the famous that's right how to have fun outdoors show and uh, we didn't have many guests but uh, Aliche was one of the fans for sure but in no uh, just no joking as all joking aside um, one of our favorite shows was this National Geographic the planet type show where you had live music playing with the actual movie and it was way better than we expected. They had all the traditional dance shows and activities but we really enjoyed this one. It was different than what we've seen on all the other cruise ships. All right, so let's head down down to the next floor. That's right, floor number three. And as you can see here, you do have the atrium opened up. For the most part though, this is all rooms again. And uh, this is the bottom floor where the atrium is in the organ. And there is the actual chair to the organ if you're wondering what that's all about. But what's nice about this floor is you can walk outside and this is what I call the old school uh, ship design where you have this real nice, you know, deck where you can walk around the entire ship. Hey, thank you for sending us. <laughs> We've got some great views from this deck and overall they've got a smoking area if you're a smoker, uh, but you can actually jog around it, walk around it. And at the back of the ship, it's really cool because as you can see here, you can go down uh, to different floors and still look off the back, which is really nice compared to some of the modern ships. And as you can see here, 3.5 laps equals one mile. Uh, so you can definitely get your exercise. Let's head on down to deck number two. And as you can see here, this is all rooms. So uh, just a ton of rooms down on deck two. Okay, so let's head on down to deck number one. And the one thing you need to know down there is the medical center. That's right, if you're not feeling well, that's the place to go to the bottom of the ship on deck one. And there it is right there, folks. 
and they will take care of you. So overall, I hope you love this video. Uh, please subscribe, hit that like button so we can get this video out for to everyone and let's hear right, from Alice. Thank you everyone for watching this video. The Zandama Holland cruise ship is fantastic and I hope you guys love it. Such a small ship but really, really nice. So please don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button and thank you so much for watching. Outdoor, outdoor.